हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट्सअप सो लेट इस कंटिन्यू फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड यू नो डेट फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी विल कंटिन्यू दैट इन दिस वीडियो आल्सो सो फ्रेंड्स एस वी नो दैट डेट इज अ काइंड ऑफ लोन ओके दैट अ कंपनी टेक्स आइदर फ्रॉम द बैंक्स और फ्रॉम द कॉमन पीपल Uh, we are going to especially look at the uh, you know debt which are taken by the company or the government from the common people okay from the general public in the form of debentures or in the form of bonds right so these are the two main things that we are going to see in financial markets so whenever it comes into uh, you know whenever it comes to investing in debt instruments like bonds and debentures it is important for investors to know the credit worthiness of the company or institution which is issuing that debt right for example you know there is one company and it has issued some bonds okay there is a abc company abc company is issuing some bonds to the common public now there is this you know the, this people will think right with, before investing into bonds whether this company will be able to pay back their money or not for example this bond is you know each bond is say rupees 5000 and this person wants to invest rupees 50000 in bonds so he will buy 10 bonds of this company but he should be assured he should have some guarantee in his mind that you know whether this company will be able to pay back 50000 rupees after one year or not so that is known as credit worthiness okay matlab aise hi instruments mein aise hi debt instruments mein hum log invest karenge jahan pe hame kuch to guarantee ho ki uh, wo company humko hamara paisa wapas degi यू नो मैच्योरिटी के बाद सो दो साल हो सकता है पाँच साल हो सकता है राइट सो वी नीड टू लुक एट द क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस नाउ यू नो जनरल पब्लिक दे डोंट रियली हैव मच इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट एनी कंपनी बिकॉज देर आर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ कंपनीज नाउ यू एंड मी कॉमन पीपल दे डोंट नो अबाउट द क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस ऑफ एवरी कंपनी सो देर इज अ रोल ऑफ क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसीज देर आर द यू नो दीज आर द इंस्टीट्यूशंस दीज आर द इंस्टीट्यूशंस which do some research which do some research and analysis of the companies in the market okay of the companies in the market and then they will present their findings they will present their findings in the form of credit rating okay credit rating to wo log kya karte wo log rate karte hain companies ko they will rate the companies okay and uh, for example if the if, if if the rating is like this a b c d e f g okay h so for example this is a rating scale a means the highest rating h means the lowest rating so if the company is very good and you know there is a very high probability that it will pay back its credit worthiness it's very high it will give that the credit rating agency will give a rating to that company if it is you know if so depending on the scale where that company fits it will give the credit rating okay so this is known as credit rating credit rating basically this is very important for investors to know whether to invest in a company or not okay now what exactly is the meaning of credit rating we will see credit rating is basically the probability of default on repayment of principal plus interest okay for example there is a company abc abc is a company it has issued bonds it has it should say debentures of rupees 50 crores to the common people now this credit rating agency will give some rating to this company and that rating will say what is the probability probability meaning shakyata sambhavana okay shakyata or sambhavana the probability of default on repayment so if the probability of default on repayment is very low then it has a very high credit rating if the probability of default is very high it has a very low credit rating this is what default meaning to fail to pay okay default meaning failure to repay failure to repay that is known as default okay so credit rating indicates what is the probability of default on repayment of principal plus interest amount that that this company has taken now this this is only the probability there is no 100% assurance or certainty this we have to keep in mind credit rating is only an indication it is not a prescription it is not a prescription to buy any bonds 
ओके और एनी सिक्योरिटी इट इज़ नॉट अ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन इट इज़ जस्ट एन इंडिकेशन दैट यू नो दिस इज़ द प्रोबेबिलिटी एज पर अस दिस इज़ अ वेरी हाई वेरी गुड रेटेड कंपनी यू कैन थिंक ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग इन इट इट डजेंट गिव एनी प्रिस्क्रिप्शन दैट यू शुड इन्वेस्ट इन दिस यू शुड नॉट इन्वेस्ट इन दिस ओके एंड ऑल्सो क्रेडिट रेटिंग वेरीज फ्रॉम कंपनी टू कंपनी सो देर आर मेनी क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसीज एंड वन कंपनी कैन गिव दिस ए बी सी ए ग्रेड वन कंपनी कैन गिव इट बी ग्रेड लाइक दैट डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर ओन रिसर्च सो वी हैव टू थिंक विच क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी वी वॉन्ट टू बिलीव इन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ क्रेडिट रेटिंग इज यू नो सो दिस इज हाउ द क्रेडिट रेटिंग लुक्स यू नो फॉर सम ऑफ द कंपनीज इट कैन बी ट्रिपल ए डबल ए प्लस ए माइनस एक्सेट्रा ओके इट इज ऑलवेज अल्फा न्यूमरिक अल्फा न्यूमरिक मीनिंग देर आर अल्फाबेट्स लाइक ए बी सी ओके न्यूमरिक मीन्स देर मे बी सम नंबर ऑल्सो लाइक ए ए वन ए ए टू लाइक दैट ओके विथ प्लस और माइनस साइन सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन डिफरेंट कंपनीज दे हैव डिफरेंट स्केल्स ऑफ क्रेडिट रेटिंग ओके यू कैन दैट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू नो बट जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीज आर द अल्फा न्यूमरिक रेटिंग्स नाउ यूजअली द द रेटिंग स्केल इज ऑन द यू नो सो देर आर एट रेटिंग्स ऑन अन अ स्केल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज अ कंपनी विच गिव्स रेटिंग एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू सो द रेटिंग मे बी ट्रिपल ए देन डबल ए प्लस देन मे बी से यू नो ए प्लस देन मे बी ए बी ओके ए बी लाइक दिस देन यू नो ए बी माइनस समथिंग लाइक दैट आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग इट अप ओके देन देर मे बी 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 प्लस ओके then uh, maybe uh, bb minus something like this and then there may be c and there may be d so like this there are uh, total uh, say for example there are total this uh, eight gradings okay uh, let let us forget about this c so th- th- there are this kind of uh, ratings uh, that you know uh, there is th- there is this this scale of rating double a plus a uh, triple a double a plus a plus ab ab minus bb plus bb minus and d so there are these eight ratings okay now usually there there are this eight kind of rating and the first four the top four are known as investment grade okay top four are known as investment grade whereas the bottom four are known as speculative grade okay so there are they are like two types of ratings one is the investment grade and second one is the speculative grade top four ratings if there are eight ratings then the top four ratings are investment grade rating investment grade rating meaning there is high probability of repayment okay so these are the good companies good ratings that the probability of repayment is very high and probability of default is low speculative grade means high risk of default okay so probability of default is high probability of repayment is low so they classify the companies as investment grade companies or speculative grade company depending on the this ratings For example, if a company is say BB plus rating, that means it is a speculative grade company. For example, if uh, uh, you know company or so so usually it is not a company, it is a bond. Okay, that bond investment or the debenture investment. So usually uh, you know if uh, if it is triple A, then it is obviously investment grade, something like that. Okay. Then there is one more terminologies which is uh, which is very famous in when you know when it comes to debt market. they are known as gilt aged securities so gilt aged securities are the investment grade securities of highest qualities meaning this double a triple a so the securities which are highest quality okay very 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 high quality very very high quality of investments okay are known as gilt aged meaning they are very very secured and almost risk free so you know you don't have to worry that you know your 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 money will uh, you know the company will default on repayment or your money will go down the drain you don't have to worry about that and they are known as gilt aged because it was first issued by bank of england and the name was gilt okay at that time gilt securities and that is why they are known as gilt aged now they are gilt aged because they are usually uh, backed by a sovereign government okay for example government of india indian government securities treasury bills are gilt aged bonds of you know indian government so they are gilt aged means very very high quality you have to be assured that you know your money will come back also a few private organizations also so it is not necessary that only the government securities will be gilt aged securities some private very good companies like you know maybe tata or reliance like very very good companies may also have gilt aged securities then there is another terminology which is known as junk bonds so junk bonds are very high risk of default 
okay junk junk meaning okay junk means basically it means you know waste okay it means waste so very high returns but very high risk okay higher the risk higher the returns you have to keep this in mind so they may be you know somewhere here either b minus or d so somewhere here they are known as junk bonds okay so it is up to you you if you want to take that much risk you can do it so they they will you know promise you that they will pay you 25 percent return or 50 percent return per annum okay very high return but very high risk also so such bonds are known as junk bonds now credit ratings are not just given to companies they are also given to national governments okay so national governments meaning they are given to the country india so there are credit rating agencies which give ratings to the countries for example, they will give rating to India, they will give rating to USA, Singapore. So what do they in indicate? They indicate the riskiness of investing in a particular country. Okay, investing in a particular country meaning, for example, if if some somebody outside, so say for example, some foreign investor, he wants to invest in country either in the form of FDI or in the form of foreign institutional investments. Okay, uh, uh, so they want to invest in, in a country. So they will also look at the national credit ratings okay that like what is the credit rating for a country ki bhai india mein invest karna kitna risky hai aur singapore mein invest karna kitna risky hai how risky it is to invest in india now it will depend on what it will depend on the political situation right it will depend on the political situation of the country it will depend on the type of government of the country it will depend on the inflation in the economy of that country it will depend on so many different factors right it will depend on the current account deficit of that country it will depend on the fiscal deficit of that country so many different factors and it is done by different companies different big companies they give ratings to the countries okay uh, so you know many big us based credit rating agencies such as standards and poors moody's fitch they give india sovereign ratings okay so these are the three companies which are us companies us based companies they give rating to the countries and they also give rating to India. Okay, standard standards and poor's Moody's and Fitch. They don't give rating to Indian companies. Okay, so these three uh, uh, credit rating agencies, they don't give ratings to Indian companies. Keep keep this in mind. Okay, Indian companies ko rating nahi dete hai log. They give rating to India, India as a country. Okay, so they don't give rating to India Inc. India Inc means you must have read you you will read this word in newspaper a lot india inc means indian companies basically okay indian companies together are called india inc so they don't give rating to india inc they give rating to india okay so how much it is secure to invest in india they give you have to see the latest ratings okay as as far as uh, today uh, as far as 2022 the ratings given by this company different ratings uh, by different companies to india so moody's has given b double a three rating snp has given b triple b minus and fitch has also given triple b minus rating now these ratings are basically you know the lowest of the investment grade okay i have told you know the first four are the investment grade okay and the bottom four are the speculative grade so one two three four so this uh, this is the rating that they have given so b a a 3 comes here okay this b b b minus also comes here at the fourth number so they are just on the verge of speculative rating you know if it if it, if it slips down it will come to speculative grade so it is not good for our country so we are just on the verge of investment uh, you know going to speculative grade from investment grade so we have to move up basically Credit rating agencies in India for bond and debentures market. Now, as I have told you, these companies, they don't give rating to India in Indian companies. So there are credit rating agencies in India, uh, you know, which give rating to the Indian companies. Okay, Indian companies or companies which are incorporated in India. Now in India, credit rating agencies, they came into existence after 1985. Okay, just this is just for your information. They are regulated by SEBI. This is very, very important. You have to keep in mind credit rating agencies are regulated and registered by SEBI. SEBI is Securities and Exchange Board of India. They are not regulated by RBI. Okay, they are not regulated by RBI. They are regulated by SEBI. At present, there are seven credit rating agencies in India and all are Indian companies. Okay, you have to keep this in mind. All are Indian companies. None of them is a foreign company. Number one is Crisil. 
ओके सो क्रिसिल यू द नेम यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड नंबर वन इज क्रिसिल देन इट इज़ अ प्राइवेट कंपनी ओके बट इंडियन कंपनी देन द सेकेंड वन इज आइक्रा ओके आइक्रा इज़ अ गवर्नमेंट कंपनी ओके इंडियन क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी सो इट इज़ अ गवर्नमेंट कंपनी देन केयर ओके केयर इज अनदर कंपनी विच द फुल फॉर्म इज क्रेडिट एनालिसिस क्रेडिट एनालिसिस एंड रिसर्च लिमिटेड ओके एंड रिसर्च लिमिटेड सो अगेन दिस इज अ प्राइवेट कंपनी देन समेरा समेरा इज बेसिकली स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइज रेटिंग एजेंसीज ओके नाउ द नेम ऑफ समेरा हैज चेंज टू एक्यूट रेटिंग्स एंड रिसर्च ओके समेरा का नाम अब बदल के एक्यूट रेटिंग्स एंड रिसर्च हो गया है ओके इट इज अगेन अ प्राइवेट कंपनी देन फिच इंडिया सो फिच इंडिया इज अ सब्सिडरी ऑफ फिच विच इज देयर इन यू एस बट यू नो दे हैव ओपन अ न्यू कंपनी इन इंडिया दैट्स वाई इट इज ओन एज फिच इंडिया बट नाउ फिच इंडिया अगेन द नेम हैज चेंज नाउ द रिसेंट नेम इज इंडिया रेटिंग्स एंड रिसर्च ओके एंड इंडिया रेटिंग्स एंड रिसर्च इट इज रिकोगनाइज बाय आर बी आई एन एन एच बी टू सो आर बी आई एंड नेशनल हाउसिंग बैंक दे ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ रिकोगनाइज दिस कंपनी दैट यू नो द रेटिंग्स ऑफ दिस कंपनीज आर गुड ओके यू कैन रिलाय ऑन द रेटिंग्स ऑफ दिस कंपनी सी मैनी टाइम्स इज क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी कंपनीज दे ऑल्सो डू अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रॉड्स ओके दे ऑल्सो कमिट अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो मालफीजेंस मेलाफाइड एक्टिविटीज दे विल गिव सम कंपनीज गुड रेटिंग बाय टेकिंग मनी फ्रॉम दैम so it is very important that you know you have to believe in this credit rating agencies also it is very important then the ne- next one is brickwork okay brickwork is a company which is promoted by canara bank okay canara bank is a government bank it is a public sector bank it is promoted by canara bank so in a way it is a public sector company okay because it is promoted by canara bank and the last one is infometrix valuations and ratings again this is a private company okay this is just for you know your knowledge just try to keep this in mind which are government which are which are not government so only icra is a government company you have to keep this and purely government company and brickwork also you can say because it is promoted by canara bank rest all of them are private but you know all these seven are working in our indian markets right now if you are interested in knowing about the actual symbols and letters used by different credit rating agencies you can visit indiaratings.com okay but it is of no use for the exam nobody will ask you question on that but if you are interested uh, for your curiosity you can visit okay now we'll continue debt securities in the next video also thank you